Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix no internet access. So when you on the bottom right of your screen, when you click on the internet icon over here, you can see this internet icon. It is not showing any connection and it says no internet access and internet is working fine. So the Wi-Fi or the ethernet connection is working fine, but it is showing internet access, no internet access. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to perform power cycle. Now for this, shut down your computer first. Shut down your computer. Now once you shut down your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer. Press and hold the power button. After you unplug the power cable, in case of desktop, press and hold the power button for a few seconds. This will release the static electricity from the computer. So shut down your computer, press and hold the power button for a few seconds after you unplug the power cable and then turn off your Wi-Fi router. Then wait for, if you have Ethernet connection, you can unplug the LAN cable. Wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router and then plug in the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check. Now still you're facing the problem. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Since the internet is working fine, uh, you can open settings and then go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here. So when you click on check for update, if there is any update, let the installation complete. And then uh, once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then check the connection. Now the next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all these commands one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Copy and paste all the commands one by one. Now, once you run all the commands, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, you can connect to the internet and check. Now, still you're facing the problem, disable or enable Wi-Fi adapter. Now, for this, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager to open device manager. Yeah. Now, expand network adapters. Now, over here, if you have an Ethernet connection, then you will find the Ethernet adapter. In my case, it's Realtek. It may be different in your case. So make a right click and then click on Disable Device. Click on Yes. And then enable it once again. Make a right click, then click on Enable Device. Similarly, if you have the Wi-Fi connection, then make a right click on your Wi-Fi adapter. It may be different. In my case, it's Intel. It, in, in your case, it may be different. So make a right click and then click on Disable Device. Click on yes and then make a right click and then click on enable device. So disable and then enable it and then you can check over here. And you can connect to your network. Now, next step is to start WLAN auto config service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find WLAN services. So here you can see WLAN auto config, make a right click and then click on start. So if it is already running, in my case, it's running, make a right click. If you see the start option highlighted, you can stop it. If it's already running, you can click on restart. You can even stop it and then restart it once again, click on start. And then once you restart, you can connect to your network and then check. Now the next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, let me inform you that when you perform network reset, it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So when you restart your computer, during network reset, your system will restart and it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So if you have the password, but if you have a Ethernet connection, you can simply 
um, there is no need but in case of wi-fi connection make sure that you have the wi-fi password now to perform network reset uh, open windows settings and then go to network and internet and then scroll down click on advanced network settings and over here you can see network reset option click on it and then click on reset now click on yes are you sure you want to reset your network setting click on yes your system will restart i am not clicking right now in my case i am not facing the problem so you can click on yes and during network reset your system might restart and after the system restart you can connect to your network and then check now the next step is to reinstall driver now make sure that you have the wi-fi password when you reinstall the driver now to reinstall the driver you can make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager expand network adapter now make a right click on your adapter and then click on update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer select your adapter click on next and let the installation complete and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check the connection now the next step is to install wireless driver or your internet adapter driver wireless card driver you can update your network driver from your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website this is just an example i'm showing you for dell so if you have dell go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp go to hp so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number this is just an example so go to your system manufacturer website and then you can you can enter the service tag number or serial number or whatever or you can even browse your product make sure that you select your computer over here and this is just an example go to drivers and download and you can find the network driver now here you can see wireless driver wi-fi driver so once you find the driver you can download the driver and then run the exe file and install the driver from your system manufacturer website and then after you install it restart your computer and then connect to your network and then check now the next step is to update your system bios so again go to your system manufacturer website if you have a dell go to dell if you have a lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp go to hp and make sure that you select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the bios find the system bios and then you can click on download and then run the exe file or update your system bios but in case of laptop make sure whenever you update your system bios make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer then update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then you can check the connection now if nothing is working the last step is to reset your computer now reset may result in loss of data so create a backup before the reset so when you perform reset you will lose all the data and application you might lose all the data and application so make sure that you create a backup and then go for reset because you have to start everything from scratch it will be a, like a brand new computer so to perform network reset go to settings and then go to windows update over here and then go to advanced option and then go to recovery over here and here you can see the option which says reset this pc click on reset pc now over here you have two option one is keep my files which will remove application and settings from your computer but it will keep your personal files the next step is to remove everything which will remove all your personal files application and settings so you can select the option which you want so i'm selecting keep my files and then go for local reinstall so click on local reinstall and this will reset your computer and once the reset is complete you can set up your computer once again and then check the connection over here so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of the get rid of this in, no internet access 
even when internet is working fine. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.